A couple of weeks ago, I went on a bit of a raiding mission into the snow. I was searching for a base to raid that could potentially have some good sulfur profit, but whilst scouting around, we stumbled upon this rather unusual base right here. At first, we were a little bit confused because it looked as if there was no doors on this base, but there are doors on this base. They're just hidden underneath the ocean. So what's the point in this exactly? Because you can't place boxes underneath the ocean, right? Actually, that's not true. You can place vending machines underneath the ocean, which act as storage boxes. They have just as much space inside. In other words, you can essentially build a base underneath the ocean. The only catch, you have to place the tool cupboard and all of the other items, such as the workbenches, repair benches, etc., above the water. But all of our main loot can be stored underneath the water, and these bases can go pretty far down. So as you can probably already tell by the title, I've been inspired to build an underwater base. The main difference with my base, though, I'm going to build it in the middle of the ocean, really close to oil rig. This is seven days of Rust content condensed down into one video. Thanks to Lenovo Legion and NVIDIA for sponsoring today. Today's video, more on that later. For now though, let's get right into it. Day number one. All right, everyone, it's day number one, Rustoria US Media, and this freshly wiped, the only wiped 23 minutes ago, join server. The goal for today, we're just gonna build a temporary base. We're not gonna build the water base just yet. Once we've got that temporary base down, we're gonna stack up loads of loot, and then once we've got enough resources, we'll build the water base. All right, let's have a look at the map then. I might actually build the water base around there. Look at that little patch of land over at H zero that little tiny patch of land you can just about see it that could be the perfect place to build the water base okay crafting a spear oh my god you're making a big mistake are you sure you want to do this i know are you sure you want to do this yes. One, two, one. okay face the spear yes. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? Let's do it fair. I'm not even going to use on. the spear. I'm not even going to use the spear, man. Rock battle. You beat me, you get to keep the spear. You know, you might be better. Oh, shit. There's a third combatant. Yeah. Okay, kill him. We got to okay, kill okay, him. Okay, 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 okay. I'll bring out the spear. That dude. I have so a rock. Want, dude? Get the here. We all have rock. Get out of here. Hey, take the rock. Okay, you want to continue our rock fight? Three. Two, go. One, go. Damn. Come on, man. You just jump over me. Oh, oh GG. Good job. <laughs> hey, what health you. are you at? I'm at 33, man. It's better if you die because you, you're going to want to respawn with full health. Otherwise, I would help you up. But yes, good luck with your wipe. Can I throw it up? I love a good rock fight. After completing a fair rock jewel with my fellow naked, let's head on over to the location where we're looking to build. There's a small little mark on the map. Let's go and find out exactly what this is. All right, everybody, we've arrived at the patch of land out in the middle of the ocean. Look at it out here. Just, yep, it's pretty awesome. If we can get a base down out here, that'll be sweet. I'm going to dive underneath a little bit because it's foggy. We might not be able to see much, but as you can see, if we dive underneath here, there's a rock right here. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm drowning. All right. Okay. Well, there's a rock there. I wonder if you can build on that. I'm just going to let myself drown. Screw it. You can actually build on these rocks underneath the ocean. You can build a two by two, and then you can expand that two by two to create an even bigger base. So this spot is confirmed. This is where I'm going to plan to build the water base later on. We need to get ourselves a little bit established first before we can even consider building this though. So let's first focus on that. Hey, can you kill me? Ah, oh, with pleasure. Thanks, buddy. Okay, good okay, I'm at the fishing village. Now all I need is the scrap to buy a diving tank. Just loot a couple of the barrels around here and we'll be good. Paddle farmer out here stealing all the freaking barrels. I should have enough scrap now. Um, I've got 25. Pretty sure it's 25. Oh, there's a dead player. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, never mind. We've got 42 scraps, so that's definitely... Oh, another player? Oh, okay then. Right, yeah, I've got 42 scraps, so heading over to the fishing village now. Let's get a diving tank. Oh, let's not forget that you can actually go... Like, we can talk to these quest givers, and they can give you, like, quests 
I just want to say, these quest givers are actually uh, more useful than you might think, especially this guy. He actually offers a pump shotgun, and all you've got to do is collect a few things from underneath the ocean. Early game, free shotgun, don't even have a base, why not? There we go, diving tank is being bought. All right, hell yeah. But yeah, so I've just got to untie 10 crates and return to this guy. And he'll give me a pump shotgun, which is a pretty freaking good item. We've got the diving tank. Untie 10 crates. Easy. Let's go. Now, after spending a fair amount of time untying crates, it was getting nighttime. So I was losing visibility down here in the ocean. And I was also hungry. So my health was rapidly getting lower and lower. So I decided to head back to the fishing village and F1 kill. Okay. All of our loot is safe, don't worry, because we died in a safe zone. This is a good option if you want to keep your early game loot safe and you don't have a base. Safe zones for the win. Now, when I finally got back to the fishing village, it was nighttime. And well, suddenly, this place is pretty packed out. I guess there's a lot of people without bases as well, looking for refuge in the night. I'm about to be in the safe zone. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked. Okay, I've got my loot back. Ah, stole your paddle, mate. James, please, could you give that back? I'm begging you. You want that back? I will give you... Yeah, what do you want in exchange? Uh, nothing. Take it back. I, I appreciate that very much, sir. Take that. How about that? Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah no problem. I appreciate it. Okay, let's wait for it to get to morning. And then, uh... And then continue our quest. Look at all these people with diving tanks. Everyone's here doing the same thing. Hi. Fishing village. <laughs> ah, the beauty of rust. One moment we are together as one, sharing warmth around the fire. The next moment we are fierce enemies. Okay, morning time's upon us. Let's get back to it and finish this quest, which has taken much longer than I thought it would. <laughs> okay. All right, back to untying crates. It's quite time consuming, but I'm committed to that pump shotgun. Also, somebody decided to jump down and join us, but things are not so friendly anymore, I'm afraid. Crap, there's a player. Got him! Yes! Oh! <laughs> this is the... I was next to him at the, the, the campfire. <laughs> and now he's an enemy. That's rust for you, man. A lot of people diving on wipe day. I, I didn't realize it was this popular. Sorry that this had to be done, man. I'm getting rid of all the crap. Okay, I've looted everything that I want. So there you go. And maybe I can get rid of this extra hatchet, actually, and just loot the... Um, this right here. Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> I've got my sound on like full blast, which I'm sure not a lot of people do because this oxygen tank sounds, it's going to deafen me. It's so loud. But the plus side, I was able to hear him. I swear I've been untying these crates for ages and I've still not completed the quest. So I really don't know if I'm doing the right thing here or not. I have no idea. Ah, oh, there we go. Quest complete. Untie 10 crates. Let's head back. Let's go and grab our pump shotgun. Look at all these components. I've got 31 sewing kits. I've got eight gears. I've got 11 road signs. And I don't even have a base yet. What is this? Oh. Quest complete. Great job. Thank you very much, Dive Master. Did he give me hit the pump? Yeah. With a decent amount of ammo as well. Okay, well, I'm happy with the loot that we got from that little mission. But... We've kind of got a bit of a dilemma here. We've got a full inventory of loot and no base. Um, this is slightly concerning. Okay, I need to think of what we're going to do here. Give me a sec. Okay, there is a ranch on the island. Um, I want to build my temporary base on this island anyway, because the, you know it's quite close to the rock in the ocean that we're going to build on later. Okay, I think the safest thing to do here is to swim literally from the fishing village where we are now all the way around to the ranch. And that way we'll be in the safe zone at the ranch and we can uh, farm the trees and stuff like that around the ranch while staying in the safe zone. I think that's the best uh, course of action. We're going safe zone to safe zone. I'm becoming a paddle farmer. Bro, bro, 
You'll have a swimming tank for drop for me. You'll have swimming. Uh, no, no, sorry. Go to the fishing village. Okay, okay. They're very cheap. Hey, you take this. Very good. You have something for me? Anything? Wood, maybe? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. A diving tank for 200 wood. I got slightly ripped off, but I need the inventory space. Okay, I'm going to make a run for it. I'm going to build the base with no inventory space practically. But yeah, I'm getting my door and my lock ready. And then I'm just going to run over there and get this little one by one base down. Okay, let's do this. Oh, TC, loot secure. Let's get this stored away. Um, all right, so now then, obviously we can store away this loot. That's great. Um, we've got enough low grade to craft a furnace. All we need is wood and stone. For now, we're going to store the loot away in small boxes, but we're very close to getting a furnace. So yeah, let's head straight back out. Store this away and then head straight back out. Okay, furnace one and furnace two are being crafted. Now, I'm going to skip over a lot of this section here. I want to get to the bread and butters of today's video as quickly as possible, which is, of course, building that underwater base. So I'm going to skip over some of the early game stuff that happened right here. I basically went around the island, did a load of farming, and then I upgraded this temporary base that we've made quite a bit. Now that we've got this base upgraded, it's time for us to go and find a green key card. I don't have any of the blueprints researched on this server yet, so we've got a lot of work to do in that area as well. First destination the lighthouse. Okay, is there a green key card? No, there isn't. Oh, there's a guy on a boat there. He must live in that base. These guys have built a tower that's directly facing the recycler. That's going to annoy a lot of people this wipe, I can tell you that. All right, let's get out of here then. There's no point in sticking around, uh, waiting for the green key card to spawn. No, it's not going to happen. We're just be we're best off going somewhere else and grabbing a green key card from somewhere else. All right, I'm in the middle of the map now, almost, and I'm heading to the gas station because I'm going to check if there's a green key card there. Player, crap. Hit him once. Hit him again. Killed him. Nice. What did he have? Any, any, any farm? A little bit, not a lot. Okay, let's get to the gas station right now. It's right here. We're just going to go inside and check if there's a green key card. If there's not a green key card, we're going to have to go somewhere else. Oh, God, I hate this place. Okay, green key card. Nope, no card. Let's go. We're leaving. Nothing else to get there, really. Okay, the next place we can get a key card is the supermarket. Okay, I'm at the supermarket now. I don't have any source of light. Okay, key card. Is it here? Let's find out. Nah, doesn't look like it is. I told you, it's freaking hard to get a key card. I mean, it is wipe day, to be fair, but still. Okay, we'll, we'll find the green key card. We're going to go home and depot this loot that I've got on this little adventure that we've been on. Okay, we made it back with no green key card. I'm just going to depot this loot and head straight back out. We've got 150 scrap. Making a little bit of progress there. Let's go back at the lighthouse. Green key card's here. I'm just going to grab that and leave. Oh, sh Is he on his freaking roof? I see. I knew these guys were freaking... I freaking called it. Okay, I should be able to get away from these guys, though, to be fair. They have a massive tower facing at the lighthouse. As soon as they've got the bolt action, killing primitive players trying to loot this place. I'm going to try and collect a few green key cards before we actually use any of them. In fact, let's make another trip back to the abandoned supermarket. See if we can get another green key card from over there. Might have respawned. Let's go check it out. Okay, I've noticed there's a guy that's propped up right next to us. I think he's a solo player, though, so not too uh, much of a problem, I don't think. Oh, no, he's not solo. Never mind. There's a key lock up that's... Oh, never mind. They've replaced it with code locks recently. Ah, yeah, whatever. Hopefully, they're cool. Okay, I'm heading over to the abandoned supermarket now. Got a guy with an Eoka over here. Uh, I think this is the Eoka guy. Yes, it is. 30 scrap. All right. I'll take it. Goodbye, my friend. Adios. Did I get the Ayoka? Yes, I did. I'm not really much of an Ayoka guy. It's, it, like, it's not a weapon I really use. Probably should use it more, to be honest. You only had one shot left. Okay, supermarket's here. Let's go inside and see if there's a green key card. 
some double barrel action. I kind of want to go check that out, actually. Let's go. There's a lot of dead players at this supermarket. I'll quickly have a peek inside. See if there's a... Uh... Oh, crap. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Keep zigzagging. One hit and I'm down. Freaking hell. Looks like the server's starting to get a bit more lively now. We're going to respawn and head straight back over here. Persistence is everything. This is the bit where we make insane loot and we kill a trio. Okay, there's a lot of fi there's a lot of fighting around here. I'm going to go check it out. Yep, player with a crossbow. Headshot him. Hit me what? Again? Okay, killed him. Now he's going to have friends though. Okay, my man barely has any loot. He was fighting this guy. So many people. Oh, what a headshot. Oh, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. Okay, one of them died. Yes. Now it's just one more. This guy. Hit him once. Oh, never mind. like I might be getting pushed. Okay, this isn't good. I mean, it is. It's good that they're pushing me in a way. Hit him once. Okay, he's got to be dead. Hit him once. Nice healing. Being a little bit. Hit him once. Killed him. Okay, killed him. Right. No, no, his friend's still around. Headshot him. Oh my god, I headshot his friend as well. Oh, there were so many. Oh, okay, well, in fairness, I did 1v3 there, which is what I said I was going to do. But I didn't expect there to be a fourth player. <laughs> oh, freaking hell, man. Okay, here we go again. We're back at the hectic player there. It looks like a freshie to me, but... I think he's got a sash, so he might have a key card. There we go. Let's see, did he have it? Uh, no, he didn't have a key card. Okay, it was worth checking. No key card here. Player just stood at a tree. Got a sash. Please, please. I beg you. Don't do it. Oh. You f***ing I, 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 I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'm going to bleed out now. You no, shot me. It hurts. Not. Look, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Please. Boom. I'm uh, sorry. I got you. Thank you. There you go. Hey, you don't have a lot of loot on I you, do you? I wasn't gonna attack you, man. No, absolutely nothing. Do you have a green key card? No, I did not. Okay, are you solo? Yeah. You wanna join the team? Uh, I'm, I've just got my sure. own. Sure. Yeah. If you need a, if you need help, type in the chat. All right. Seems like a cool guy. <laughs> I'm giving up on the idea of getting this green key card. <laughs> okay, I just told my friend that if he wants to build around the ranch, then yeah, he can. Let me get that bear. He's just over here. You go ahead and harvest that. And as I said, mate, uh, if, if you want somewhere safe to build, go around the ranch area. All right. Alrighty. Hell yeah. Hey, take the pig as well. Okay, I'm back at base with 63 scrap. And uh, you know what? That run was worth it because we made an alliance. I've upgraded myself now to the crossbow nail gun. Oh, player. Can test out my crossbow nail gun setup. It's here. I know. That's the crossbow nail gun for you, man. Love rocking this. Some of Yoka shots going off at the supermarket again. Hit him once. There's like two of them. We're not going down that road again. Oh, I got their attention. Watch out. There's, a guy. There's two guys coming with the crossbows, mate. You want to move? 
Unless we team up and kill them together. In which case, come over to me. Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you the guy in the building? All right. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk. Okay, that's him dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm totally dead now. Ah! <laughs> we tried. Hey, yo, shout out to that dude, though. You know, he, he joined the cause. He got the memo. Anyway, we keep going. All you gotta do is get close. Come here, mate. Come here. Yeah, fucking. I think Sam's actually built a base around the ranch, so let's go say hello and check his base out. Hey, Sam, how's it going, man? Oh, yeah, no, wait. I think he's AFK. And he went for dinner. But, yeah, that's his base. Good to know. Garage door is researched. Okay, so uh, pretty okay start so far. We've got the garage door researched. We've made an alliance. We've gotten some decent kills. Overall, can't complain. Now, there's much more to come to today's video. We're just getting started. But before we continue, give me just a moment to talk about today's sponsor. Now, before we continue with today's Rust adventures, I've got something pretty freaking awesome that I want to show you guys. Did you know that Rust can run just as well on a laptop than it can on a computer? I didn't think so either. That was until yesterday when I received this beast of a laptop from Lenovo Legion and NVIDIA. Okay, I've just spawned onto the game on Rust. I'm on a freaking laptop. I'm on Rustoria US Medium, which is a pretty, you know, big server. And my frame rate is 95, 100. Literally, look, look at how smooth that is. This is 144 hertz on a laptop. So awesome. I was a player there. Oh my God, spear. <laughs> and now I'm going to kill this guy. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I can't blame lag for that one. One of the features that NVIDIA has on all of their latest graphics cards is the NVIDIA Reflex technology. This actually helps significantly reduce system latency. So whether you're playing at home on a really fast internet connection or on top of a mountain like I was right here. Receiving data, processing, come on. Oh, I'm in. This reflex technology will allow for quicker response times, and ultimately this will improve your player's mechanical aiming performance. So with all of that coupled together, the high refresh rate you get from the Legion 5 laptop, the insanely powerful 370 laptop GPU that's inside this thing, it's basically freaking awesome. So there's everything you need to know about the laptop, guys. It runs Rust amazingly well. It's an absolute beast. There's one final icing on the cake before we get back into today's Rust video. NVIDIA and Lenovo have been kind enough to let me give away two of these laptops. For the first laptop, it's just all you've got to do is go over to my Twitter, like and retweet the tweet that I've just posted, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. It's that easy. The second laptop, this one that I have right here, which is actually the one that NVIDIA sent me personally, but I'd like to give it to one of you guys. I want to make sure that this one goes to somebody that really needs it. So this laptop will be given away as more of a competition. I'll be announcing that in my next Rust video, all the details that you need to know on how to enter that one. But if you just want to chance your luck on winning the first laptop, as I said, all you've got to do is go over to my Twitter. There's a tweet that I've posted. Like and retweet that and then you're entered in really and that's it. Thanks a lot Nvidia and Lenovo. Your laptop's absolutely awesome. Very impressed with how well it runs such a high performance game like Rust. If you're looking for something where you can play the best PC games anywhere you want, this is the laptop to go for. So thanks Nvidia and Lenovo for sending it me. Let's get back into the Rust adventures. Thank you guys. Now, just a heads up, but the first laptop giveaway, the one that Lenovo and NVIDIA are doing, uh, that laptop giveaway is only for UK and Ireland residents. Uh, I, I, I found out about this quite late on. It's not really a problem or anything, but the second laptop giveaway, the one that I'm going to be doing, and uh, that will include the whole world. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but if you are from the UK or Ireland, then yes, you can enter the first giveaway by going over to my Twitter uh, and following the steps on the tweet. So, uh, yes, anyway, back to Rust. Is this your brother? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is okay, brother. hell yeah, Neo. Welcome to the team, man. Welcome to the team. Now, after inviting Neo's brother to the team, I heard some noises coming from my closest neighbors. As you can hear, seems like these guys have got themselves a bunker base. We'll be meeting these guys very soon. For now, though, we're going to head over to the lighthouse yeah, on a little right. bit of a mini adventure with Neo and Rusty Sam. Let's go, guys. Have you got? Have you got? Um, have you got enough arrows and stuff? I got yeah, we got plenty of arrows. Sweet. Okay, first stop. Let's go to the lighthouse then. Boys, oh, player over there. I, I didn't want to speak. 
He's running over this way, though. More potentially. Headshot him. Ah, oh. oh, there was literally one of them left, man. Probably his friends are probably back by now, but let's go and see what's going on over there. Player there. Killed by my own nail gun. <laughs> now, I've got no idea where these guys live that just killed us. But I've got my suspicions that it could be the guys that live right next to me. My closest neighbors. Then again, there's many possibilities because there's a lot of bases on this island. There's a massive clan base, for instance, on the left side in that shop you see. They might live there. Or they could just be a random trio that lives somewhere else. But either way, we're about to eliminate one suspect pretty much right now. See... The neighbors that live right next to me, we need to establish who these guys are. And maybe, because they live so close to us, try and create some kind of alliance. And that's exactly what's about to happen here. Because, after walking back to my base, there was somebody waiting for me there. Who is this man? M. Gomez. And why is he in my airlock putting up the friendly sign? Well, I didn't know this right here. But he is actually trying to talk to me. Just so happens that he doesn't have his microphone turned on. So at this moment in time, I'm very confused. What do you want? Your microphone is not working, man. No. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Whoa! Put that spear down, boy. Oh, uh, no, I was asking... Can you give me blueprints if I give you the material? Really? Yeah, sure. What do you want? I don't have a lot of the blueprints, but yeah. I heard you have a garage door. Yeah, yeah, I can give you that. Where's your base? Right there. Is that your base? All right. Yeah. Did, were, you, were you the guys that just killed us? What are you talking about? We just started. Oh, yeah, no, because we just got killed over there by like three guys. I thought it was the people living in this base, but... Oh, yeah, 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 I can give you a garage door. We, we literally just started, so we have no... Uh, how many gears have you got right now? Four, I think. Four or six. All right, four. sweet. How yeah. about this? Can you give me four... Like, if you give me four gears, I'll craft you one... Like, if you give me six gears, I'll craft you two garage doors. Because I, I, I need gears myself. So, like, two gears as payment? How does that sound? Wait, how much? I think, hold on. So if you give me six four. gears, I'll I'll give give you two garage doors. Or four gears, and I'll give you one garage door. Just so I can craft one for myself. Hey, Michael, how's it going, man? Is that a player? Shall I kill him? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Friendly. Sorry. Sorry, man. Yeah, there's only three of us. Oh, got a bow. Okay, I'll bring you back to uh, the garage door. Oh, you can come with me if you want. This is just my temporary base. I'm going to actually be leaving the area tomorrow because I'm going to build a base out in the ocean. I thought I'd give that a go. All right, what garage door skin would you like? Take Chop shop. Let's go with that. Take this, mate. Boom. Sorted. So there we go. We're on good terms with our closest neighbors. That's always a good thing. Now, I don't mean to be judgmental, but it does seem to me like these guys are somewhat new at the game, just based on several factors. <laughs> Either way, they seem cool, and that's all that matters. Who am I to talk anyway? I'm no god at this game. Anyway, it's time for me to get some sleep. It's been a long wipe day. And a pretty successful one, if you ask me. I finished off the day with doing some final base upgrading. And then I logged out. Bring on day number two. Hopefully we've not been raided. This is the day where we're going to build the water base. Alright, please don't tell me I've been raided. I've not been raided. Come on. Let's go. You can put metal in my tool cupboard to stop my base from decaying. Awesome. 
Okay, now the guys next to me that I allianced with, kind of allianced with, th these are not the guys in the team. These are the guy, the trio that lives, that I gave the garage door to. I want to see how big their base is. Here we go. Oh, their base hasn't changed at all. Not one single bit. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, although my neighbor's base hasn't changed much, they did survive the night, which is good. And so did I. Great. But unfortunately, one of us had to take the hit. My allies, Neo and Rusty Sam, unfortunately got raided last night. I just want to say a shout out to both these guys. Uh, Sam was actually a fan of my videos. When he met me, he recognized my voice, but he was really chill about it. So I appreciate that, Sam. Sorry you got raided. See you in the next life. Some shots up here. I'm going to go see if I can kill whoever that is. Did they go? Did I kill them? Oh, they're here. Oh! He's gonna have a friend. He's gonna come and try and kill me. We'll just leave him with that. No idea where these people live, but I, they definitely don't live here because that's where my allies live. And I, I, may, I may got raided last night, so yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's woke me up for the day. I think he probably had a salvaged ice pick that I didn't pick up. But other than that, we got everything. Anyway, happy with that kill. Going to help towards our underwater base, which I'm almost ready to build. Jobs are good in. Look at all this stone that I've got, man. Boxes and boxes of the stuff. I mostly need metal. This guy had a thousand. Not a lot. There's actually not a lot on the island. Not a lot of metal or at all. All right, let's head straight back out. Okay, I'll grab the rest of his loot while I'm here. Get a little bit. He didn't come back for the scraps. Question is, did he have a... Oh, a jackhammer. Yes, he had a jackhammer. Oh, that was so worth it, me coming back for that. Grab this metal node. I reckon the guy I just killed is from the big group that lives on the uh, the island, on the other side of the island near Lighthouse. Some massive group there that I've shown you guys. I reckon he's from there. All right, well, you know what? I've actually got enough loot, I think, to uh, start building the water base. So without further ado, let's start the process of building the base. And then eventually we'll move all the loot from this base to our water base and we'll fully move into that base by the end of today. That's the goal. Let's head over there now and start building. We're approaching the rock. Now check this out. I, now I tested this out on my server. Hopefully this rock. Oh my God, there's a shark. Um, right, that's a slight issue. I'm assuming that they have a lot of health and I don't want to lose any of my loot, but it is patrolling. Okay, now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a two by two on the top of this rock here. It is actually doable. You can fit a two by two on here. Then I'm going to expand that two by two. Play, please don't see me, shark. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. One. Two, three, four. There's a two by two. Followed by the entrance, which is going to be right there. And then on top of that, we're going to have honeycombing as well, which you guys will see very soon. I'll just start building and then I'll explain once I've done it what, what, I, what everything I'm doing. I'm going to have to head back to base and get more stone real quick. start of the base. I just saw a boat. I see a boat over there. Oh my god, did they spot me? I'm living in the middle of the ocean. Look at this. This is the start of the base. And if I jump down, you can see that it goes all the way down to the rock. The entrance to the base, you're going to literally have to dive to get to the entrance. So all the way down here, all the way down here, the door, boom. 
go through there. We're going to have two submarines in this part of the base. Um, we're going to, obviously, we're going to, we're going to upgrade this bottom section quite a bit. But if you come up here, this will take me all the way to the top. I'm going to have loads of oxygen tanks there and stuff like that. But yes, there's going to be no doors at the top. So if people want to raid me, they're going to either have to dive underneath and go through the doors that way. Or they're going to have to blow through the metal, which I'm going to honeycomb. And I'm also going to have all this upgraded to armor as well. All the ceilings, just so that it's harder to eco raid through the through the bottom. Which basically, if, they, if all these ceilings are armored, it's going to be very hard to, to eco raid. But anyway, the base is cool. I've got a lot of work to do on it, though, so I'm going to keep grinding and upgrading this. Alright, well that was one hell of a base upgrading montage. After spending a couple of hours farming and upgrading this base, we're almost finished. There's still a few things we need to do though, such as add the vending machines and stuff like that. But we'll get to that very soon. Now then, I headed over to mainland and my plan was to do a little bit more farming before the server population increases. The perks of getting on early means that the server activity is lower than usual, although this server generally always has a lot of players on it. That's why it's important to get as much farming in as possible before things get way too hectic. Anyway, on this particular farming trip, I bumped into a player that is going to become a very important part of today's story. Say hello to our next alliance. Oh, player building a twig base. Let's go say hello. I think he's, he's got to be new. Hello, sir. How you doing? Do you have a microphone? English? English? No. Okay. Privyet, moi druk. Ah, you, 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 you solo? One second. I'm going to upgrade his base for him real quick. Before that rifle guy. Oh, hi. Hello. You have microphone. Hey. Take this. Hey, hey. You need to. I I hear I hear rock. There's a guy with a rifle. We gotta be careful. But you need to upgrade your base as quickly as you can to stone. Uh, stop please. Stop please. Stop please. Oh, what? What's he trying to do? Look! 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 This? Wait. Wait. Okay, open door. Ah. Okay, your base. Your base is safe now. Where are you from? What 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 language? Ukraine. 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 Okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to use translator. No way, it's from Ukraine. Your base is safe now. Type in the team chat if you need help. Okay, check the chat. Okay. I'll see you around. Close the door. Bye. Thank you. Close the door. 
Okay. <laughs> Adios. Thanks for the water pipe. So we have a Ukrainian ally, YMKA. We're going to be seeing a lot more of him later on. In fact, probably a bit too much. <laughs> anyway, turns out my other allies have just come online. So let's go and say hello to them. Oh, hello there. How you doing? Got to do some upgrading, man. Yeah, we're still working on it. <laughs> All right, good. James? Yeah, this is James, yeah. Well, let me know if you need anything, man. All right, sounds good, thanks. Dude, I want to take that Ukrainian to do a little eco raid. I'm going to craft loads of swords, and we're going to go and uh, do some sword raids. Take him on a little raid. I saw a wooden base near the river. Hello. Hi. Where's your door? He's locked himself in. <laughs> One moment. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting base design. Okay, follow me. Let's raid this guy. I don't know if there'll be any loot. It might have a sheet metal door, but screw it. Let's see if your skin's any luck, C and D. Here we go. Nah. Okay, no loot. But look, you take. Nice. And two boxes as well. Okay, raid, let's go. Uh, raid two. It's check, 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 check. Correct. Uh, raid two. Raid ah, two. yes. Okay, let's go back to your home. Nicely done. He's using a sword. Ah, hell. Why? I'm just helping a noob. I'm gonna take him over a furnace. To help this guy out. That's pretty much the main thing we got from that raid. I'll take him one over. Hello? Hi, uh, I'm stuck. What happened? Please help me. Uh, open door. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I don't. Oh, I see. You got you got griefed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to eco raid into YMKA's base because apparently this guy has griefed him and placed a door down. I see. Okay. We have to help this guy get his base back. Hello. Yeah. Help me, man. Oh, what? You can just open the door. <laughs> It is my, uh, my home. Okay, let me get this straight. No joke. I spent about 15 minutes sorting through this guy's door. He decides to respawn. I'm assuming to help me, uh, you know, eco raid. No. Turns out he wasn't grief. A clear language barrier problem right there. So why was he stuck? Let's find out. Well, I, I thought you were stuck. I, uh, I stuck. I, I stuck. Oh. Here. Oh Found my it. god. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Don't please. Up. Up. Don't. Up. Oh. Okay. He didn't like where I placed that furnace. <laughs> close the door. Always close the door. Close, close. Uh... Close. Yes. Good. Okay, so at this point, I've helped YMKA out. I've upgraded his base. I've made it secure. He's all good. I decided to take him on a trip with me to the outpost where I did some recycling. Then we headed back on the hot air balloon and safely got back to the island. After that, I was ready to bid farewell to YMKA and wish him the best of luck on his rust adventures. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, goodbye. See you later. And so with that, I headed back to my island base for the final time to collect the last few things before officially moving base with a clear conscience that I'd helped a new Rust player. Well, not exactly. See, just as I was about to get back to my base and put my feet up, YMKA died and immediately spammed my name in the chat for help. So I abandoned the plan of moving base for now to go and see if I could help YMKA and find out exactly what was going on. Player farming. This has got to be the guy that killed YMKA. 
Yeah, I see him. He's right here. Ah, I killed him! Ha, noobs! Ha, noobs! Loot is yours, man. In fact, I wouldn't mind some of it. Ah, <laughs> uh, noob, ah. Uh, Very good. Very good. I want to just check if it's these guys that killed my friend. Hey, uh. Did I just kill one of you guys? Hey, what's up? Okay, I, I thought. He's yes. one of. Yes. No. There's a little uh, new Rust no, player Ukrainian no. guy living in a little base over there called YMKA. He's he's very new to the game, so I was just uh, but yeah, some guy killed him and I killed him. I thought it might have been you guys, but it wasn't. So yeah. All right, no, sounds no. good. All right, Jesus, can I get my freaking water base completed now? Oh, scratch that. YMKA died again. I'm only gonna help him one more time, okay? Then I'm leaving him to his own devices. There's only so much help you can receive on this game before you just have to figure things out and learn the hard way. But let's go see what's happening this time. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Oh, they're trying to eco raid the windows that I've put down. This time, it was three guys with the Yokers trying to eco-raid YMKA. And you know what? If there's any vulnerabilities in anyone's base, then it's a pretty much a given that somebody's going to try and eco-raid it. There's no hate towards that, really. I respect a good eco-raid. But, unfortunately, you're not going to be eco-raiding one of my allies. Alright, first vending machine's being crafted. There we go. It's down. You can place vending machines underwater, which makes these are the this is what makes these bases so OP. Um, so several floors down, I need to upgrade this still. I'm gonna have my vending machines, two vending machines there, and maybe two vending machines there. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a base tour because I don't think I've fully given you a base tour yet. But um, yeah, right now I'm in the core of the base. Now, if we go through here, the this door then leads us down. We go down here, and then we've got one door right here. Go through there, and then go down. Another garage door right here. And then this leads to uh, our vending machines, which is where I've got a lot of the loot stored. Any important loot I've got stored down here. So, uh, yeah, this vending machine's got all my components in. And then if we go down right here, we've got another vending machine with all my sulfur in. I'm running a little bit low on sulfur. Sulfur's not a problem. We can farm loads of that. But, yes, that's where I've got all my sulfur stored. Anyway, follow me. We go down here. We've got another sheet metal door. And then another garage door. Da -da. Close that garage door. We go through here straight down and then this leads to where the submarine is so i am going to add more doors and make this more secure but for now it's relatively secure boom nice and easy look at that garage door let's get that down all right submarine we've got one submarine eventually maybe later on i might buy another submarine and uh you know i might have the two-seater one next but yeah for now this will do the job now i spent a lot of my time at the underwater labs the underwater labs are a great place to get scrap on a high pop server or a server that's highly populated because the respawn rate of the crates is super quick. So I've been running these labs over and over again, getting constant scrap. But on this particular run right here, unfortunately, this happened. I wasn't super sussed out here, but it definitely was odd that this guy managed to hit every revolver shot when I was underneath the ocean. But what's even more odd is how they found me and killed me again. But at this point, I'm still not reporting them because it's, in my mind, I probably should have, but it's the third time that really gets me. Okay, there's definitely some weird cheating going on here. I gotta find out their names. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, these guys are cheating. I'm going to report them. Yep. We've got some cheaters in the area, and it seems that they're living pretty freaking close. Probably on the island somewhere. Now, after reporting this guy, I just continued on with my day. There's not a lot you can do about it. It is what it is. I tried to avoid these guys as much as I could. I stuck to my underwater lab runs, and time went on. A couple of hours passed by. The hacker had still not been banned. And to be honest, I hadn't encountered them since that time. So I just kind of forgot about it. Well, that's until I met this guy who was in the process of doing an eco raid. What's his name? Oh, it's Gomez. I recognize him. Excuse my very tired voice. At this point in time, I've been playing Rust for well over 15 hours. I even forgot Gomez. But of course, you guys probably remember, this was our closest neighbor when we lived in the base on mainland. Gomez, part of the trio that we sold the garage door to. James, why you keep killing me? I thought we were friends. You know these guys? No, this is quite new to be fair. You know? Wait, you know these guys? No, I don't. I... What, what are their names? Fucking poop. Uh, poop. Poop oh, man, uh, poop man and... Oh, dude, he lives here? I, I swear he's hacking, man. I yeah. swear he's hacking. So, here we go. Turns out, this poop man hacker guy lives in this base, and clearly, he can't even build a base in the first place. This dude probably bought Rust and Hacks on the same day. Well, I'm gonna help Gomez do his eco raid. Let's get some freaking revenge. And also, give me my underwater lab to loot back. They were camping my my house. I'm gonna go get a jackhammer. Here, take this. In fact, hey, hey, hey. J James is helping me raid the base now. I'm so down for raiding them. He's locked out as well. Give me that jackhammer, thank you very much. I've also got four satchels that I'm gonna take with me, cause why not? Okay, I don't know where he's gone, my mate, but we're gonna continue this on his behalf. Okay, I'm grabbing my tier one workbench from my old base. By the way, this got raided. Luckily, I've already transported all the loot, so it's no big deal, but yes. Oh, you're in. Nice. Was the loot any good? Well, you can go all the way through. We can do more. We can look. There's another wall that's the wrong way around as well. We can get through that. You can take all the loot, by the way. It's your raid. I'll just help you with it. I I'm happy to get rid of these guys. Hey, they've got an armored door, but a soft side wall. Some sulfur in there. Look at all them boxes. Oh, look at this. You've hit the jackpot. Oh, 1,300 gunpowder. Mate, mate. Can I take, uh, uh, can I, can I take some of the, um, maybe wood? Gomez. You're a god. Dude, what noobs, man. This guy as is a noob and yeah, yet- Yeah, they're noobs. I'm up. I'll be back. Okay. Do you want me to help you bring back the stone or something? What was that? Do you want me to huh? help? I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I'll bring back some of the loot to your base now. Oh, no. My, my friends are coming. Okay, sweet. I want to take some of the metal. We've hit the jackpot. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Bro, what the hell? This guy's a noob. I knew it was weird. Like, I don't get it. Okay, I've got a plan. You're gonna have to walk. Yeah, mate, 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 mate. Take this. I'll dr I'll drop the loot down. Let me go grab more. I'm letting them take most of it because it's their raid. I mean, he found it, so I think it's only fair. Right, I'm coming back now. Here, boys. Got a pretty good plan. We can get the rest of this loot. Michael, you killed me. I need an apology. <laughs> you did? Yeah, it was at the uh, ranch. It's all good, man. I was just a guy with a bow. Oh, that was you. I didn't know. All right, well, we can get the rest of this loot, guys. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, move out the way. Move out the way. He 
keep keep your torch on if you can, guys, just so I can see. Yes, TC. Okay, we can patch up the base now. Oh, look at that high qual. Look at that high qual, mate. All right, um, right, I'll patch up the base. I'll craft everything we need. I'll patch up the base as quickly as we can so we don't get countered. No, are you just a run? Is this guy with you guys? Oh, I forgot you can't hear me. Yeah, he's with me. I said you can have the rest. Bye. Wait, you don't want anything else? I'm happy with what I got already. <laughs> no. Half fun. Hey, Gomez, you're a legend, man. Hey, I need your torch again, mate. I need your torch. It's about to go out. I need to make another one. He said I could have the rest. Did he leave any high qual? He left loads of wood, which is good. Hey, uh, fill up your inventory, uh, undead. Grab whatever you can, mate. Anything good in here? I don't know what, what to take. Uh, key cards are really are pretty good. It's, well, the blue key card's good. If you want to take that and try and do a blue key card monument. All right. Let's get rid of this guy's bag. Get wrecked, mate. Get freaking wrecked. Adios, amigo. All right, see ya. Revenge is sweet. Especially when it's on filthy cheaters. Some of you might be wondering why I let these guys have so much loot. But at the end of the day, I don't really play Rust like most other people. I obviously care about loot, but more than that, I care about people just enjoying the game and having fun. I've played this game for six years. I'd much rather newer players get to enjoy the game, get to reap the benefits of something they found, such as this eco raid, rather than me sort of take advantage of that and rather than me come along and try and take the loot. Anyway, it's time for some special guests. Yes, in every Rust video I make, I always try and bring on some friends to come and play with me for a day. And today, we've got CND Blood once again and Jennifer. Jennifer's never been on the channel before. She's awesome. Check her out on Twitch. She live streams uh, Rust mostly every day. We're going to go do some oil rig stuff. Let's get it. This is the first time I think you've been in a Jordan Rants YouTube video, Jen. I'm going to be in a video? Yeah. Oh, God. Jordan Rant sucks to fall, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already forgot what it was as well. Could you say it more? <laughs> Rustoria US Medium. Wait, why is there... There's a guy with the hazmat suit here. He's Where? building something. Near me? He's gonna... Uh, he's hurting me. Is it near my base? That's what he said, but I'm not sure. I killed him. You did? Yeah, he's got a red key card, jackhammer, and a revy, and... A wait, wait like how did you kill him? him? Is that you on the beach over there? Yeah. Start swimming over here, you legend. Already with the plays, and you've not even... You've, I've not even, like, spawned you in or anything. All right, uh, uh, I'm going to drop the, the diving tank, catch it. I'm going to drop it from this window. Are you ready? No. Three, two... You've got to catch it, mate, because it's going to go all the way. You ready? And go. Yes. Go, 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 go. Yes. You're okay, now, now in a sec, I'll go and meet you at the front door and bring you in. Damn, dude, this is sick. Come in, mate. Come in. Amazing. Invite me. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Come up. Come up here, bro. Welcome to the underwater base. CND oh. blood. Jen, have you started swimming over yet? Yeah, I'm almost there. I I'm here. <laughs> so we've all we've got now we've got a red key card ready to go. I'll just craft the weapons and boom. Yep. Boom. Boom. All right, hello Jen. Uh right over here, right over here. I need you to catch this diving tank. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? And go. Go, go, go. Yes! Alright, let's go. Follow me down here. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Is that is that chin up uh, to the right? Is that gonna is that sending scientists to the large oil? Mm, sometimes they go there, even though there's no one doing large. But uh, I don't know. Fifty fifty. Right. Oh, there's a boat to the right. Should we go and try and kill them? Where? Up to you, Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? This seems like um. Extra low grade in the front for you. They see us, by the way. They're they're, they're yeah. It's a yeah. star. My ESP really, uh... Oh, what? shit, I uh, didn't know I drive. You go, yeah, you go... Oh, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. We'll... Unless they go, unle yeah, unless yeah, they're yeah. going to the cargo, in which case we might as well... They are, but... Okay, okay, I'm down. I'm scared. They're gonna get on it. I'm Jennifer. It's two versus... Three, uh, three versus two. They're yeah, going... but if they have the... 
upper hand. Yeah, that's true, eh? Getting on first, yeah. Keep, just uh, keep going and just slam right into the side. Like, don't actually slam into the side, but you get what I mean. Like, let's get on there quick. Looks like there might not be anybody on. The pirates are getting ready to get on. Yeah, We're gonna this go. Scientist. Go, 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 go. Make sure you're get close enough to, to the side. Are oh, you, you going first? You going first? Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna go on. I got kicked out of the boat. I made it on. Nice. Killed one. Well dead. Scientist is about to flat. Oh! I got you, I got you, I got you. Your, uh, my scientist. I killed one of them, but there's another and I don't know where he is. Keep in mind. Oh my Crap. god, oh my god, I'm almost dead already. <laughs> the scientist. Who's that? What's that other boat that I'm hearing? Is that just the same one? Are we all alive, by the way? Currently. I'm barely. The scientists are, like, tagging us over and over again. Oh, they're shooting us from, like, okay. I'm just Very so tough. lit. Like, four years and stuff. Stay at full health if you can, heal. guys. I killed the top left one. Oh, my god. Now, we expected there to be two people on the cargo, but it turns out there was just one. We searched high and low. The other guy must have jumped off and when he realized he probably had no chance since it was 1v3. Overall, anyway, the cargo run went super smooth. We only had one counter that came and as soon as we started shooting, they left. They never managed to get on the boat. Now, the thing is though, we decided that, hey, why don't we loot oil rig as well? Sometimes if you're feeling a bit darish, you can try and loot the cargo and the oil rig one after the other without going back to base and depoting loot. Anyway, there was something pretty weird going on at the oil rig. There's a boat. It's kind of sussy, dude. There's definitely someone here. Go quick. I'm telling you right now, though, there's someone here. I know there is. There's someone. Is there a crate over here? I didn't even check map. I don't think there's a crate. There's not. Nobody's oh, here. Oh, somebody, somebody just took it, didn't they? There's a rib right there, too. I just noticed. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's oh, yeah, you're closer. right. Watch out. You're right. Yeah, I yeah, don't I'm have a hiding. flashlight, which is so awkward, but. Yeah. He's right there. It's, he's dead. He's dead. He should be at least. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. What's he doing? Do I don't understand what he's doing. I don't know. He, he was wearing, like, fishing equipment. If you want to push for his body, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye out. Okay, I, I don't know what he was doing. I really don't know what he was doing. Did he, he had, have anything? Yeah, he probably had an AK. I'm going to dive down and see if I can find it. And he had full metal armor and stuff. Really? Did he have key cards? Nah. But I'm going to search his boat and see if there was any loot in there. But yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Because he, he probably put them in there. There's a hell. There's a mini up here. Oh, oh. shoot. Yeah. That's huge. I just walked into it. I saw for the take That's in there. probably what he was looking for. Could be, yeah. He might have died up there, perhaps, if someone. Oh, wait. Did I just hear a boat behind us? I'm not sure. Are you good? He was hiding in a corner up there the I'm whole time. Oh, okay, He's right. at the very top. Whereabouts is he exactly? Hold on, hold on. He's at the very top of here. Are you over here? I'm going to distract him with my footsteps while you're creeping around. Hit him once. I'm going to bleed out if you can pick me up here. Just, yeah, I'm bl I bled out right here if you want to pick me up first before you peek. I had a syringe here. I don't know where you want. I think he might have run down the stairs. Should we get to take the hat? Should we try and get the heli and dip? Uh, that's when he would push, but we can you can bait with that. I'm in a good position if you want to go ahead and bait. Be careful. As soon as you bait, though, get off. I'll just quickly check Jen's body. Oh, all the loot's still on Jen's body. Like, everything. Yeah, I think what? I just think he panicked and then... I don't know if he... Where are you? Are you there? Jump. Here, See if you can yeah. jump on. Yeah. Alright, I'm on. We're dipping, we're dipping, we're dipping. Nice. I'm gonna I'm nice. gonna stay dead here to see if I can hear him moving. I have a thousand scraps, so it's probably worth it getting back. Wait, did we loot the rib? I mean I, I say we just sack that off. I've got a thousand scrap on me. I'd rather keep that. Okay. There might uh, dude, I kind of emptied my inv in there. There might be some good loot. I'm just saying like a lot of the cargo loot. Do you want me at the top? I'll go get it real quick. Okay. I mean, I can drop you at the, the, the landing pad. I haven't heard yeah, any yeah. movement since I've been here. I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking of all that extra loot in there. Yeah, jump out. Whoa, wait. This is the body that you... There's yeah, so yeah. much more loot in here. 
Yeah, 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 but I didn't have inventory and, I, and, I, and I'm worried about those stairs. But it is super weird because Jen had a thousand scrap on her and surely you would have seen that or it might have not looted her at all. Oh, he's in oh. here. You're dead. Where was he? I'm dead. Headshot him. He's uh, He was hiding in the room. On the top floor? on the floor. second floor. No, no, no. The floor below the top. Okay, I'm dipping out. I'm dipping out. Oh, that's so obnoxious. It's such a dumb way to die. And my headshot was invalid. He's, sh he's shooting at Jordan. Yeah, I've got away. I've got away. My shot Screw it. is invalid, A thousand too, scrap, mate. I'm, I, I'd rather keep that. I actually need that. <laughs> now, I would say that's a pretty successful run. We did lose a lot of loot from Jen's body and also C&D blood, but I gained a helicopter, loads of scrap, and loads of components. So, overall, pretty good. Now, C&D blood and Jen had to leave at this point, so it was a very short cameo, but thank you for joining me. Once again, their links are down in the description. And the helicopter is landed safely. There you go. That's how you do it. After getting back to base, I was chilling by the campfire when all of a sudden... Yes, it was bound to happen at some point. My base is a massive target, especially being this close to large oil rig. But one big mistake that these guys were making was that they were raiding me from the roof down. Do you know how many floors they're going to have to go down to get to my vending machines, which is where all my loot is? A lot, put it that way. Now, while these guys were getting to work rocket raiding my base, I was transporting every single bit of important loot down under to the vending machines. guys were edging closer and closer into my base. They were literally above the ceiling right above me. So I thought it would be a good idea to throw a satchel on the tool cupboard and place another tool cupboard down somewhere else where they're not going to be able to access it. But what I didn't realize because I'm a dumbass is that I had a shotgun trap. These guys realized my mistake and kept raiding. And on top of that, I no longer have any sleeping bags. It could take me a while to get back to my base. I'm going to have to head all the way over to the fishing village, farm scrap, buy a diving tank, and then head back over. By that point, these guys will definitely be finished with the raid. The question is... Are they going to know where all my loot is hidden? And even if they do know, are they going to have enough to get down there to take it all? Well, let's find out. That's the, guys, that's the guy raiding me. So they're from that big base. They're from the lighthouse tower base that we saw at the start of the wipe. Man, full circle, eh? They must be grabbing more uh, explosives is what I'm guessing. Okay, I'm buying a diving tank now. Okay, I'm approaching the base now. I, I don't see them hanging around anymore. I think they are finished. Let's see if they manage to get my loot. Inside. Did they get to my vending machines? That is the question. About to find out. Nope. They didn't get to that one. And they didn't get to that one. They didn't get any of my loot. Looks like this base has stood up. This is probably the hardest to get to. Okay, these guys placed one door right there. Now, in my opinion, it's definitely not safe to keep the loot stored in this base. You never know. They might come back at some point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the most important loot. I'm not mega rich or anything like that, but I'm going to fill up my inventory and I'm going to go and give this loot to somebody. We're going back to where this all started. I'm going to put all of the loot inside YMKA's base. Get inside. Boom, still got access. Let's go. All the... <laughs> Put it all inside his base. 
All right, that's the first lot of loot. Let's let's go get more loot. Now, YMKA didn't have metal resources in his tool cupboard, so the base was decaying. But fortunately, metal decays very slowly. I sent him a friend request on Steam, and I chucked him a message just to tell him to hop on. I'm sure he'd be over the moon to see what loot's inside his base. But... On that note, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Once again, head over to my Twitter if you're from the UK or Ireland, if you want to enter that giveaway. Big thank you to NVIDIA and Lenovo for sponsoring today's video. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to drag this outro out too long. I'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my videos, supporting the channel. It means everything. Have a great rest of your week. Peace out.